All right, all right. Look at him. Look at him down there. We were right. This is the soft shell turtle. Hold on a minute. I got it. We got this him. This is pig. All right. And when I get him out here, you'll be able to understand why his name is Pig. Hold on a minute. Dude. That's awesome. Third time. Third so time. I actually caught the same turtle, as Elton said, last year. Or it was actually the year before last. And then two years before that, I caught him again. But here he is. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey, pig? What's up, man? He's zooming. Where'd he go? He's just right there in that cloud of dust. I don't see. There he is. guys have an incredibly long reach, longer than a common snapping turtle, which is why I'm being really cautious, because these dudes have incredibly sharp beaks, and I'll easily cut right through your flesh, yeah, just like that. Let me get them up here. Yeah, bud, how you doing? Long time no see. Oh, look at this dude. What a neat animal. So unique. Look at the patterns on the neck there. You know, absolutely incredible. He's got that little mask pattern. Let's bring him up onto the... He's smiling for the camera. Hey, 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 look at that. All right, now, as I said before, this is a, what's known as a soft shell turtle. This is a spiny soft shell. There's actually a few different species. We have the um, smooth soft shell, spiny soft shell. We also have the Florida soft shell, among others. But this dude is the one that lives in our area. Spiny soft shell turtle. I named him Pig because obviously he's got that long snout, which is one of my favorite features about this animal. And that incredibly long neck. It's so cool. <sighs> really great for periscoping. And that nose in the shape of this turtle is built for digging. So you'll oftentimes find them in sandy bottom creeks. And uh, which is really, what's kind of odd about this place is because it's really rocky in the bottom. There's a few sandy-ish areas. But as you can see, look how urban it is here. We've got houses surrounding us on all sides. Now this used to be pretty good woodland habitat for this animal to thrive in, but ever since all this encroaching um, environment, <laughs> I'm squeaking. What's up, dude? But what a neat animal. Look at, the, look at that look leopard at that patterning on the bottom, or on the bottom of that shell here. What a neat animal. Gosh. Show the underside, look at his legs. Yeah, check Just that out. His tail is relatively small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just built for speed. A lot of people think turtles are slow. This animal is the definition of speed. You can see he actually got away from me a couple times. But uh, look at that. That's awesome. Spiny soft shell turtle. This is the third time I have caught this and about the fourth or fifth time I've seen him here over the last six or so years. But um. It's good to see that he's still thriving and doing well. Look at that size too. Oh, I know. Giant turtle. Don't get much bigger than this. This is about a full grown adult. And actually you can see the back of that shell is the reason it's called a spiny soft shell. And this shell here actually feels just like leather. It's pliable on the back. Actually go ahead and show them that back, the back half of that shell, how soft and pliable it is. You can see you can just lift it up and it moves just like that. Crazy. Despite that, it's actually pretty durable. You can see it's actually pretty hard right there. You can feel his bone. But uh, what a neat animal to come across today on this hot summer day. Look at those claws too. Look at that, yeah. That does not feel great on my hands. What a neat animal though. Look at that pattern though, incredible patterning. Well, we're gonna get some photos of this guy and give him the release right back into his creek system. Dude. Come on, man. That is sick. Look That's at that animal. It. Incredible. So cool. All right. See you in a second. All right, guys. I was just about to get ready for work when my dad called me over. He was in the excavator digging out a dirt pile over there. 
and out came this absolute behemoth of an eastern milk snake. Real cranky one at that. He's bit me probably about six times already. Blood everywhere. But uh, what a neat find. This is probably the biggest eastern milk snake I have ever seen in my lifetime. And he's not the prettiest one, not the most vibrant, but he's definitely the biggest. But um, God, don't do that. Jeez, no. All right. But um, now this guy's probably about close to three, four foot long. He's probably in that pile taking refuge. Stop it. You done? Nope. nope, still not done. There you go. Don't do that again. Looks like he's in relatively decent shape. Not too many cuts and blemishes on him. But, uh, real cranky. That's for sure. But what an absolute monstrous snake. <sighs> do not bite me. He's gonna bite me. <laughs> but, super cool. Eastern Milk Snake here in Northeastern Ohio. That's enough. One more. Maybe don't do that. You done? Not done? Well, Eastern Milk Snake. Very nice. Latched on to my finger. Well, I'm going to get this guy in a controlled environment to take some photos and then release it. But, uh, yeah. Cool. Ouch. Alright, the release of this big girl. Ah, stop biting me. <laughs> Off you go. It finally happened! Yes! Eastern Milk Snake at the shop. Oh, it's about freaking time. Tiny little newborn Eastern Milk Snake. This is actually the second Milk Snake this week here, which is kind of shocking because I haven't seen a single one the last two years. Oh man, and it is an absolute beauty. Look at that snake. The colors, man. <laughs> I just flipped. So I was walking over and this rock looked really good to me for some reason. And I flipped it. And lo and behold, where'd he go? I lost him. There he is. <laughs> he blends in so perfectly with these rocks. I Lost track of him. A tiny little eastern milk snake. This also means that these guys are reproducing here, which is fantastic to see. I'm gonna get some photos and release this dude. What a cool find. Well, that happened quick. I was just walking over there in this rock pile, hoping to maybe flip another milk snake. And out came this eastern garter snake slithering out through the grass. He actually went up into these tall grass. I thought I lost him. Then he came back around to go back into the rocks and managed to catch him. Look at that. That was a beautiful eastern garter snake too. Look at that. What a neat animal. This is generally the size I find them. Not too much bigger than this. But yeah, I'm going to get some photos and release it. Neat find. Let this guy go right back to the weeds. I'm gonna get some photos of this beautiful little eastern milk snake. So cool. All right, guys, so I am right next door to my house right there, and as I was pulling in, I noticed there was a huge carapace, which is the top shell of a turtle. It was right about here somewhere. Oh, I just stepped right in that. No, but he was right about here. You can see there's a bunch of these turtle trails here. 
running all throughout. I see some slide marks. Um, he actually, apparently, a couple days ago, he was up on the bank here once. So I'm gonna take a quick peek around, see if he's anywhere close. This water actually goes another six to eight feet, but it's a bit low right now, which makes it a lot easier for me to spot these turtles in this muck here. So I, I am going to take off my shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bit muddy. Oh God, that's cold. Wow, that is really cold. It looks like to me that he might have went into this deeper water here. But wow, that's really cold. This water is, there's a turtle right there. Oh, I wonder how big it is. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, he's huge. That's, a, that's the biggest regular slide I've ever seen in my life. Look at this dude. Oh, there's another one. Would you look at that? That is a monstrous red ear slider. Look at the face. Look at the head on that thing. Jeez, ow. Oh, this is the first time I've been down here, and there are so many turtles. Another one just swam out into deeper water here. Check that out. I just saw his carapace. Just poking out of the water right there. Lo and behold, there he was. I'm going to get this guy up on the embankment to hopefully get some quick photos. And then I'll just release this guy back in the water. It actually looks a lot bigger in person. Like, that's how big he is compared to my hand. Because all this debris off. What I saw was his back end here lifting out of the water. Must have been just getting ready to dig out into the mud. But uh, that is a large turtle. Check that out. Well, I'm going to get some photos and release this dude. What a neat find, though. Big old red ear slider. What's up, buddy? Nice. It's a really old turtle right there. Super cool. All right, I need to hurry up with this one because I just spotted my second turtle today. And he is right here somewhere. I Oh, there he goes. Got him. <laughs> yes, sir. I just managed to see his head poking out of the water. Lo and behold, there he is. And he is not too happy to be caught. <laughs> Check this dude out, though. Here we go. That is a little painted turtle. So that is species number two here in this little pond. A little eastern painted turtle. Neato. Covered in mud. Let me actually wash him off really quickly without him getting away. There you go, all cleaned off. That is a beautiful little turtle. Probably a male because he's got all these really long claws. Usually the males have really long claws. But uh, look at that. Super cool. Look at that belly. Look how orange that belly is. Beautiful reds, oranges. That is a stunning little turtle. Neato. <laughs> He's not real happy to see me. Cool. Here goes turtle number two. <laughs> Off he goes. All the way out there already. Mm -hmm. 